Hey, so uh, another video of uh, uh, what uh, almost two weeks in Japan now, and um, it's finally sort of uh, dawning on me. Hey, wait, I live in Japan. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, having uh, dealt with culture shock for the past sort of week and a half now, um, it's been it's been so crazy that having even the time of day to comprehend weight you're in japan <laughs> you know uh i've been working every single day pretty much uh I, if i haven't been working i've had to go do something uh i know i said i would make a video about uh all the things you have to kind of do and stuff which i might include in this video depends how much time i have um but yeah, uh, I've had to do so much stuff. I had to uh, register my uh, gaijin card or my uh, resident card. Um, uh, you have to find out where to go first <laughs> before you do that. Uh, there's these ward offices around um, your area that you basically have to tell the local government that you're um, uh, that you're uh, living X, Y, Z, and if you move, you have to tell them that you've moved. Otherwise, um, uh, yeah, they'll, I don't know, maybe they'll deport you, maybe, I guess. Um, but yeah, so um, I just thought I'd show you guys the view from um, uh, one of the buildings nearby my house uh, that I'm staying at. So uh, yeah, have a look. So that's uh, Osaka Ko, um, or the port, the Osaka port. Um, I think the port, uh, Japanese word for port is uh, temples and uh, so um, I'm getting some Japanese I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really kind of cool. Um, I'm really sort of uh starting to accept hey wait you know this this isn't so bad <laughs> you know this is uh you chose to do this for a reason and and this this is why you chose to do this because you get to do really cool stuff um you know even though it's a real challenge it's really challenging uh, many of the people that come to japan uh find it uh really challenging and they thought well you know it's going to be a breeze i'll go out there i've learned some japanese um and then you realize that every single word in japanese that you learn from america or from the us or uh, the uk or from wherever you came from is either irrelevant or uh, you don't use it in a regular context. Um, for some strange reason, they don't teach you really important words in, um, in the textbooks or in, in, in YouTube or anything. A couple of important ones to know is uh, honto, that means really, um, uh, daijoubu, uh, or daijoubu desu ka, is, uh, is that okay? Are you okay? Or uh, you can just say daijoubu to let them know or daijoubu desu to let them know yes you are okay um, uh, some textbooks will have this one uh, kore wa nan desu ka kore wa nan desu ka um, and, uh, but what they don't tell you is uh, kore wa nan desu ka nihongo de nihongo de the most important one is the uh, nihongo de because uh, most Japanese people who have any uh, Japanese uh, English at all, they will say, uh, "Oh, it's a car," <laughs> you know, not uh, "kuruma des," you know, because uh, for some strange reason they see that you're white and they think, "Well, this guy needs an answer in English." <laughs> um, uh, I know that it's a car, <laughs> you know. I know my native tongue, and I know in my language this is a car. I didn't know that it was a kuruma. <laughs> or a uh, judoja, you know. So, so yeah, that whole Nihongo de really important. Otherwise, they will say it in English or attempt to say it in English and be there for 25 minutes going, ah, there you go, de, there you go, de, um, 
No, no. Nihongo de. Most, one of the most important things you'll, you'll learn is Nihongo de. Because you need to know these things in Japanese because uh, otherwise you'll just become one of those people that live in that English bubble. Um, and yeah, and people will tell you stuff in English and you'll uh, be the gaijin that expects to have answers in English. Um, uh, another important word might be Ikura deska. Ikura deska. That's not a word, it's a phrase, but Ikura deska is uh, how much does it cost? You know, which is probably in a lot of stuff. Um, uh, but then again, most people, <laughs> uh, most books don't really tell you um, about the response. Uh, so you'll get. Um, uh, a whole bunch of responses uh, <laughs> that uh, that involve uh, either jinai, jinai or kunai uh, seems to be the negation of stuff. Like uh, I think it means not, or um, you don't have to pay, or uh, or we don't have this. And uh, that's an important one. Ga arimasu ka? Ga arimasu ka? Is do you have? So you would say jutencha ga arimasu ka? Meaning, do you have bikes? Or um, uh, you might say, um, uh, they might say in return to you, uh, Arimasen, Arimasen, or uh, Jutensha Kunai, or Jutensha um, uh, Jinai, or something. Um, uh, they may or may not say that, but usually anything that's uh, Kunai, Junai, um, I've noticed seems to be some kind of negation of something. So, uh, not cheese. Chizu deska, chizu denai, you know, seems to be some kind of negation. Um, not cheese. Um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll make another update video <laughs> and, uh, and make a way better one than this because this, uh, this is just my immediate um, uh, reaction to some of these things. Um, uh, I may find that there's a way better way of saying these and in fact, you know, um, I've seen some people say there's better ways of saying this but uh, these are the ones I know right now so these are the ones I can teach you. Um, but yeah, um, uh, living in Japan for two weeks now has been pretty fun. Um, it's been crazy um, but when you have off times like now I've had my, this is probably really my first uh, genuine off time you know um, I have literally nothing to do today which is pretty cool other than wait in on uh, Amazon package um, which I am not looking forward to because uh, the guy is gonna call me in Japanese and I'm gonna say ego ga hanashimasu ka? ego ga hanashimasu ka? which is uh, do you speak English and he's probably gonna say ego jenai <laughs> and I'm gonna go ah uh, um, come to my house, please, with the package. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, no, that should be fun. But, uh, but yeah, generally today is my first day off and, um, I'm loving it. Yeah, I really am loving it. Um, having come up here to see, to take time out and say, like, wow, you know, even though the bullshit that I'm dealing with, with my work, you know, um, you know, it's not really bullshit, but they, you know, they just want a lot from you. I mean, um, I mean, I work for uh, an Ikaiwa, uh, a private one, and um, you know, I'm not an ALT or anything like that. Which I hear they have their own issues as well. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I like the Ikaiwa that I work for. It's uh, it's pretty cool, but you know, they. They want me to jump through all kinds of hoops, go here, there, everywhere, you know. Um, so, but, you know, it's all part of the fun and the challenge, I guess. And nobody speaks English at my Ikaiwa as well either. So I either have to play charades or um, or just say, Daijoubo, Daijoubo, you know. I don't understand, you don't understand. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, it's been interesting. It's been real challenging. Um, but, you know, if you ignore the fact that the language barrier is difficult, it's a pretty fucking incredible place to be, man. It's, um, I mean, one more time, have a look at this.
yeah so that's living in Japan um, um, and you know there's all kinds of really cool stuff out here you know I mean there's this place called Mega Donkey which I found is pretty cool it's kind of like the Japanese equivalent to uh, Costco um, but um, kind of not <laughs> it's uh, really strange but uh, but yeah um, some things I thought I'd uh, tips I thought I'd say as well is um, uh, if you're thinking about coming to Japan some things I would uh, uh, advise you is um, be prepared for a lot of legwork <laughs> um, unless you're on one of those schemes that uh, ALT or something where the package is taken care of for, of for you and they deal with your housing and they deal with everything and yeah everything's in Japanese um, everybody speaks Japanese few people uh, competently speak English um, and uh, yeah they uh, they expect you to be function in Japanese immediately um, which you know which is good for immersion, but it's bad for stress. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, I kind of don't, uh, I do like it, but I don't like it. It's kind of stressful. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you have to get an apartment. Um, you have to pay bills, which, you know, you would do anywhere else, but it's in Japanese, of course. So, um, so yeah, uh, but you know, it's been fun. Um, uh, so so yeah I'm still yet to do some really cool Japanese stuff um, uh, you know it's uh, you know it's so difficult now just uh, doing life stuff you know uh, you know to me right now my downtime is just coming up here to a friend's apartment and just chilling and uh, enjoying the scenery uh, but you know I'm sure there'll be time for that later on I plan to be here a substantial amount of time um, oh, one thing that did happen to me that you really should um, uh, be aware of is uh, your bank uh, may flag you for fraud. <laughs> if you see uh, that your bank account isn't working, um, if your bank sees that you're making transactions in America and, and then in Italy and then in uh, uh, Japan, I had a layover in uh, Italy, um, uh, they will say, Ani minute and bit, <laughs> what's going on here, you know, and, uh, and yeah, they pretty much said, uh, are you in Italy, Japan, and America? I said, uh, I was, yeah, so that's me, so it's cool, don't worry, so, uh, so yeah, that's one thing you have to be careful of. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, any other tips? Um, oh yeah, uh, one some things I've realized uh, if you like the soundtrack to Sonic and it was the soundtrack of your childhood and you want to make it the sign soundtrack of your adulthood, um, yeah, come to Japan because that kind of music is everywhere. You go in the store, the grocery store, you go in the uh, everywhere uh, you know I, I, I forget the sonic tune but yeah pretty much that is that is the soundtrack to my life now I'm I'm living the sonic uh, uh, sonic the hedgehog uh, soundtrack to my life uh, which um, has its upsides and its downsides you know I like it but you know not everywhere I go <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, if that's one of the smallest things, if that's, if that's one of the things you have to put up with to enjoy living in Japan, hey, you know, having to listen to Sonic the Hedgehog 50 times a day is, uh, is a small price to pay. <laughs> um, but yeah, this video is getting long now, so uh, any other things I think you should uh, be aware of? Um, uh, yeah, have more Japanese before you come to Japan. Uh, so many people, including myself, come to Japan thinking, I have some Japanese, I'll be fine. No, you have no Japanese. <laughs> uh, study Japanese for a year or go to school um, before coming here because, uh, yeah, immersion is gonna happen and it's crazy as hell. <laughs> so, yeah, study that shit before you come here. 
um, anything else. Um, uh, uh, it? Um, insurance, insurance. Um, pretty much most people who work in Japan uh, for an extended period of time have uh, a, a local government insurance. You have to go to the ward office to register, make sure you bring your passport. They cannot process it without your passport. I went there with my Gaijin card and they said, hey, no, you didn't bring your passport. They sent a, a letter in the mail saying you have to bring your passport. So, um, so yeah, if you're going to get some insurance from the local ward office, I recommend asking a friend to write it down for you because I spent 10 minutes going, Ika is, uh, uh, you know, and, um, and they were like, what is that? What the hell is this guy asking for? <laughs> you know, so eventually, you know, they got what I was trying to say and they said, hey, um, he's trying to ask for uh, health insurance. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, a, it's a one thing you're gonna have to do. Um, uh, travel insurance is terrible. So, uh, so even though you should have it, uh, it's not really something I recommend for an extended period of time. Your first year will probably cost around uh, 10,000 yen, um, uh, which is about 100 bucks, uh, which is cool. Um, uh, but the second year, um, I am told, um, uh, can get pretty expensive, uh, you know, uh, 200, 300 bucks uh, a month or a year, I forget, I don't know. Maybe I have to pay again next month. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently, because uh, they, they base it on your previous year's salary. So um, as I've had no salary in Japan last year, uh, this year uh, they base it on the standard low rate, which is pretty cool. So for this year, I'll have a very low rate of insurance, um, uh, which is good. But next year it will go up because it will be based on me earning a shit ton of money, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would also advise, um, if you can speak Japanese, um, really learn a lot about housing Japanese because, and bank, uh, banking and, um, uh, and um, what is it? And, um, uh, and telecommunications, Japanese, you know, just basic Keitai Denwa, uh, one year contract, that sort of thing, because uh, you will have to deal with that shit. And it's, uh, it's pretty crazy if you don't speak Japanese. So, uh, yeah, so just a word of advice do banking uh, Japanese, you know, how do I open an account? Please let me open an account. Um, uh, that sort of stuff, or does it come with a credit card, or you know, basic stuff like that. Um, so the, they don't have any of that stuff in the bank, uh, in the books, in the textbooks. So read up on uh, how to bank in uh, Japanese, you know, basic banking words, ginkgo. Uh, I don't know what an account is, but bank is definitely ginkgo. Uh, I also recommend if you can speak Japanese, if you do know these things, uh, don't go with uh, people who speak English uh, because many of the English landlords here, many of the English uh, realtors, many of the uh, English speaking uh, uh, SoftBank, Domico, the telecommunications companies, they, they don't have the best deals or they, you know, they will give you their deal. You know, they have a deal and they give you their deal, you know. And if you don't like it, nah, that's your deal. That's You signed up for it, you know. Um, or if you don't fit to their deal, like in my case, my uh, my visa is only for one year rather than uh, for three years or two years or five years. Um, if you don't fit to their uh, standard definition of uh, a gaijin, uh, they won't allow you to fit into their contract. You know, if you if you don't quite meet their criteria, you don't fit. So uh, you're going to need to learn a lot of negation words, <laughs> a lot of uh, jinai. You can't do this. You know. Um, so yeah, be prepared to be told you can't do this. <laughs> uh, if you go into any real estate agents, um, 
be prepared to be told uh, we don't deal with foreigners. We only deal with people who speak fluent Japanese or we only deal with people who are Japanese. Uh, I've been told that many times. Um, but yeah, purely because I think you're going to get a better deal if you can speak Japanese and you purely go with the Japanese people. I mean, the deal that I have right now is pretty cool. My landlord is, um, uh, is a cool guy. Uh, he's helping me out with a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, if you can, pretty much all of the downtown uh, apartments, unless you're going via a website, which I would advise against, if you can speak Japanese, go to a realtor. Uh, so get a hotel for a couple of days, then go to a realtor. Um, uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely don't rely on English-speaking uh, landlords or um, uh, their English at SoftBank or telecommunications companies or banks because, uh, one, their English is poor. Uh, their translation is, at best, okay, you know, and you may get confused. Um, but two, just because you can get way better deals if you can actually speak Japanese and you can uh, you can actually ne ne uh, negotiate that whole realm of uh, Japanese speaking, um, uh, you know, uh, apartment uh, uh, apartment rental, you know, so uh, or you know, banks signing off for banks. So yeah, definitely, uh, you know, learn those words, banking stuff, learn banking words learn renting an apartment words, apato. Um, uh, definitely, oh, one thing that really is confusing is learn the terminology for apartments 1DK, uh, 1K, uh, 1DRK, and various other things, 2DK, you know, that uh, I don't actually know what they mean by the way, I'm just telling you some of those terminologies. I think it means one dining room kitchen or two that rooms and a kitchen or something. Learn that because <laughs> um, you're going to need it. Um, I don't need to know that right now because I don't have enough Japanese to um, uh, to uh, to be able to do that. Uh, and also I'm locked into a three month contract now anyway whether I like it or not. So, um, so yeah, in this three months I'm going to try to learn more Japanese about those particular things, you know, banking. Um, that's because that's the most important things as well. Is in Japan as well. The order in which you do these things is imperative. You need to have a cell phone before you can have a bank. You need oh, you need to have a hanko before you can have a bank too. So a hanko, you can just walk into any craft store. If you really have a shit ton of money, you can walk into any, um, you know, Kambini or, you know, most uh, small places will have them. Like, uh, there's a place here called Conan, which is like, uh, uh, it's kind of like a Home Depot, but not. You know, it's kind of like Home Depot. Yeah, I guess it's like Home Depot. Um, um, and various other uh, home-related stores will... Uh, give you uh, Hong Kong, well, well say give you in exchange for money. Um, I paid about 30 bucks for mine, 35 bucks, uh, which is a little on the expensive side because I went to a specific arts and crafts place. Um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so don't do all the stuff I've done, so pretty much. Uh, i doing all these things wrong so that you don't have to. Um, and it's costing me a fortune. Um, so yeah, so learn these things. Uh, but yeah, learn the biggest things I would say is learn about phones, learn about um, uh, uh, banking, and learn about um, banking, phones, and uh, uh, getting a hanko, um, and what was the other one? Telecommunications. Uh, banking, telecommunications, and apartments. That's that's pretty much the three things you're going to need to know when coming to Japan. If you don't know those things, it's going to be a shit ton of hard work on your part. Uh, so, yeah, and you're going to be stressing like I was. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's been every day of my life for the past uh, two weeks now. Almost two weeks, so...
uh, learn those, <laughs> um, which in the next three months now I've got this time so that I can learn those. Um, but yeah, most important things is Hanko. You need to have a Hanko before you get a bank. You need to have a Keitai Denwa before you have a bank. Um, because they will and they will call you they oh my god they will call your cell phone to make sure it's ringing in front of them it, it, it's serious they will call it and they will come to your apartment if they believe that you don't live there so they come to your apartment I had the manager of the bank come to my apartment and knock on my door personally and say oh you do live here strange I, I it was kind of creepy for me it was like uh, way too much invasion brazen you know uh, so yeah nah, what are you gonna do uh, but yeah so this video is getting way long now but uh, yeah so I'll, I'll make a condensed version of that pretty much tomorrow but basically you need to get a phone before you can have a bank you need to have a bank before you can have a phone so that's kind of a um, you know what are you gonna do about that I I, I had to jump through so many hoops. I'll make another video about that later and tell you guys. Um, but yeah, so you need to have a phone uh, before you have a bank. You need to have a bank before you have a phone, but you need to have a hunk call before you can get all three of them. And you need to have insurance. So if you don't have insurance, uh, you probably can't do any of these things. Um, so yeah, and all of those things are predicated on the fact that you register your Gaijin card um, before you come uh, before you do any of these things you have 15 days 14 days to register your Kaijin card otherwise uh, I think they kick you out of the country maybe I don't know but when you move when you go into any apartment you have 14 days to update your new details otherwise uh, problems I don't know oh that's another word you need to know as well as uh, Monday night Monday night phrase sorry Monday night is uh, no problem or uh, Monday night desk uh, is uh, there's no problems right or Monday night desk net is uh, there's no problems right uh, so which there will be problems <laughs> and they will say uh, no Monday night no problem you know but there will be uh, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah so that's my tips for today um, it's a bit long, it's coming on 30 minutes now, so I'm going to cut off, but I'm going to show you this wonderful view one more time before I patch out. Okay, catch you later guys.